what is order book imbalance? So before I continue, I, I would like to propose a quick distinction about order book imbalance and order flow imbalance. Uh, often they are interchangeable, but uh, today we're talking about volume, and I think it's important for us to distinguish two very important things, intentions and behaviors. So the limit uh, order book imbalance regards the imbalance that occurs in the order book, thus the excess of submitted buy or sell orders to the exchange. On the other hand, order flow imbalance regards the executed orders that take place in the market. Order book imbalance uh, it's, it's very important as a descriptor that allows us to understand the general sentiment of the market. So we'll take a look at that. We have two ways of displaying uh, order book imbalance. Uh, the first we'll talk about is proportional imbalance. So this answers the question, uh, what is proportion of one side in relation to the other side? It's quite simple. Uh, this will show you, as the name implies, the proportion to which one side is proportional to the other. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but the output of the imbalance is one as uh, absolute equilibrium, right? Uh, no overpowering. Uh, proportions are the same. It's, it's, it's basically a tie, right? You have the same amount of sell as you have of buy. But when you reach a value of, for example, two, this means that the limit order of one side is the double of the other side. And that's where we get the proportion. So we can say that there are twice as many sellers uh, as there are buyers, for example. It's fairly simple to interpret. Uh, and you, uh, as a user, can choose between this option or the next option we'll talk about, volume order imbalance. So the volume order imbalance is the theoretical way of calculating the order book. Uh, if, you, if you search up some, some literature on uh, order book imbalance, you will find uh, that they refer to volume order imbalance. This is also something new in version 2. Um, so it is defined, volume order imbalance is defined as the proportion of interest on the bid side. So the calculation, when it's done this way, the calculation then considers that the imbalance will range from 0 to 1. When it's 0, it, this is converted to an absolute ask side imbalance. This, in normal circumstances, cannot really happen because um, it, this means that there aren't any buyers in the market. And ultimately, it, it means that then there's no market. The same is true for the inverse situation where the value reaches 1. So at, at that point, you, you have absolute bid side dominium and, of course, no market. Okay. So besides the visual imbalance alert showed in like a light green, blue color uh, at the left, so that little, we can also use the option width by book. And although this is not a guarantee of imbalances, um, I think uh, it provides a, a nice visual to when a big order comes in. So, sorry, this option lets you arrange graphically the size of the order book according to the dominant max value seen. It's very useful to make the visual component relative and it makes the sides relative to each other. So, as you can see uh, on the third column, uh, we got width by book. And while the uh, while the uh, ask side seems like uh, quite big on the second column, by using width by book, you can clearly see that those bids right there uh, really are different and really are big compared to the overall book. So that's what we wanted to show you. Also, uh, on the last column, you can see filters. So you can filter by an absolute value there. 